Secretary to the Government of the Federation, Senator George Akume, and key ministers in the administration of Defender President Bolatin Bis policies, uh, despite the hardships they are inflicting on the country. They emphasize the need for the federal government to adopt these policies to build a brighter future for Nigerians. Other ministers, including finance, budgets, and national planning, the information minister, works, education, water resources, tourism, and special duties, are also praised the Tunibu regime and its vision for Nigerians. On a long-term perspective, infrastructural development remains one of the pillars of the Tinumbu administration. Since his assumption of office, Chairman has shown his resolve in completing ongoing projects and initiating new ones in key sectors. Transportation infrastructure, particularly roadway and airport projects, have been prioritized to enhance connectivity, facilitate trade, and improve the overall quality of life. Mr. President has implemented a, a major innovation in facilitating that domestic um, refiners can buy crude from NMPC in Naira. The savings there are obvious, and I think it is a matter of time when the various benefits of such a scheme will feed through. A lot of intervention programs were introduced to ensure that we compensate for shocks, those shocks, while at the same time not squandering the opportunity to put our economy on a pedestal for growth. Like in the years uh, past in the 60s, for instance, when a child finishes from secondary school, he would have acquired some traits, some skills. So this is what we've been able to achieve in the last 10, ten months, which will be ready for implementation, which is already ready for implementation from this October we are entering. We are working on Makodi to Ninth Mile. We are working on Abuja to Kano. And so these roads are going to be told, but we are not just telling them, we are bringing confidence in the use of these roads. Let me announce that over 85% of these projects are completed and we have directed the, the uh, directors of the period zones to go ahead and start commissioning from October 1st. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.